what's up guys it's destiny here and this video is a little different um who knows how long of a video this is gonna be who knows how long it's gonna take but um this is my journey with trying to have a baby it's been years since my husband and I have been trying sorry you guys I have to go to the bathroom I have to pee um since we have been trying for another child um some of you may not know but our son passed away in 2016 it is about to be the four year mark next month um August 7th since he's passed away and uh you know it's been a very emotional road um it's been a very hard road right now um doctors tell me i can't have kids which is crazy to me because i've had a kid and now that i can't have a kid um i have pcos um you can have kids with it it's not curable um but m most of the time i've done research and it says that people get miscarriages or it just doesn't work out and so um believing that God is going to make a way for me and that he's going to bless us not with only another child but um in our hearts we want four more kids we wanted five total and we had our son um rest in heaven Antonio Jr. um so we want four more and um it is today is July 6th I am going to be taking a test and uh, we'll see. Alright, three minutes is up. And we are not part of it. Um, I had a family alert. But, uh, that's just, I guess, how it is, sorry, there's a little thing here, I guess that's just what it is, um, I do my best not to get my hopes up anymore, honestly, because it's just always negative, so, um, obviously for those who don't know, PCOS is polycystic ovarian syndrome, where your ovaries are covered in cysts. And so it's like you're producing eggs, but your eggs are not actually going properly. So it's just creating these cysts. I've had surgery before. I've removed, I've had a cyst removed on my ovaries before. Um, it was not cancerous. This was back in 2017, I believe. Um, and I still have PCOS. Um, it's mainly caused by weight. Um, my biggest I've ever been was 310 pounds. I lost it. I've got down to 37 or er, 378, 278, um, and then I gained it all back, and I got it to 302. And ever since I've started my journey, since then I'm currently at 295 or 294. I'm sorry. So it's just a matter of losing weight, being healthy and uh, getting my body back where it needs to be and just continuously praying that uh, God just moves because it's, it's very hard, that's for sure. It's very hard um, going through this and I've cried so many times, it's like I can't cry anymore. Um, so that's what it is. I'm gonna do one more test in the morning because if it's negative, my doctor wants me to call her so we can get another ultrasound to see if there's any progress with the PCOS or anything like that. So I am actually going to go study right now. So see you guys tomorrow morning. What's up, guys? Um, Today is July 8th and I had called my doctor to let them know 
oops, let me put my seatbelt on. I had called the doctor to let them know my pregnancy results. And they called me this morning at work and set up um, an ultrasound with me. So now I'm on the way to the ultrasound so they can just check what's going on. Um, see if the PCOS is becoming worse or if it's still the same or just for them to kind of get a glimpse of what's really going on. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to let, uh, they'll let me film in there. They probably won't because it's kind of like personal, but we'll see. I'm on my way there now. I have the appointment at 2.15 and it's like 1.45, but you know how they are. You got to be there 15 minutes early and all that other kind of stuff. So prayers for Mary, y'all. Prayers, prayers, and prayers. So ultrasound is over, officially over. It's like 3 o'clock. Um, my doctor ordered two types of ultrasounds. Um, the the belly one and then the inside one so I'm happy that's over um, I'm currently gonna go to Walgreens so I can pick up my medication uh, I was supposed to pick it up like a week ago and just kept forgetting kept forgetting and so I went to go pick it up yesterday but they said they put it back because it was too long so they said they would have it ready for me yesterday by like 4 30 p.m. but I wasn't out at that time so I'm gonna go pick that up and yeah, you guys, I mean, not everybody will be interested in this type of video. I mean, it's a kind of like some may think it's a little too personal to be putting it out there like that. But there's so many women um, that have PCOS that, you know, struggle from PCOS. And so um, you never know. Your story may help somebody else. There's so many women that I know personally that have it. Um, there's women that have had it and I've, you know, watched them, I've read things that they have put on their blogs or anything like that, and, and so, uh, I figured why not do my journey with it and see how it goes, and, uh, and yeah, so, my phone's dying, but, uh, there's that. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm hey guys. It's Destiny here. So today is Friday the, today the 10th. When I did my previous surgery um, back in 2017, the lady only had removed one cyst instead of the two that were there for whatever reason. And uh, so I, my doctor said that I do have a cyst on my right ovary. Um, she wants to try to avoid surgery. The positive is, she said it's not as big as the other one was. Um, and the other one back in 2017, it was benign, so there was it was not cancerous. So she said this one isn't as big as the other one. It's about a third of the size. And um, it doesn't look as complicated as the other one did. So, with that being said, she is scheduling me a um, pelvic MRI to be done, and then I have to go see my OB, and I have to get my um, what is it like the endometrium, like the lining of my uterus. She said it was pretty thick, so she wants me to go see my. OB and then I have to get the pelvic MRI and I know for some of you this is like way TMI and I'm so sorry but again I just want to um, share my story because there's lots and lots of women that have PCOS and that struggle from it and um, this is something I've been dealing with for about four years now so um, I just thought I'd help encourage other women and uh, get my story out there as well. I mean, it's always, I'm not even going to lie, when she told me that it looked different than the other one, the other one 
you know, was benign. So when she was like, it looks different than the other one, like automatically, you know, you think the worst. But um, I'm believing that God is going to heal me, that he's going to take care of me, um, that he's going to give the doctors and my OB and all of them, you know, the right um, knowledge that is needed, the right treatments that are needed. Um, she's trying not to do surgery, to go through surgery again, so um, we'll see how this all works out. So that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will continue to update um, as much as I can, as often as I can. Tune in for the next video, you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, become a part of the family, hit the notification bell, and also subscribe to our gaming channels. I'll leave them in the description box below. Until next time, you guys, stay blessed. Have an amazing rest of your week or beginning of your week or whenever you're watching this and we will catch you guys next time bye